A plan is in the works to reopen Natrona County's famous landmark, Hell's Half Acre. The Bureau of Land Management's proposed restrictions spread farther than just the Rock Springs area. And is it possible to visit Jackson Hole on the cheap? We'll take a look at these stories and more today from Wyoming's largest news organization. I'm Wendy Corp for Cowboy State Daily. A plan is in the works to renovate and reopen Wyoming's famous Hell's Half Acre, an otherworldly landscape made famous in movies like the cult classic Starship Troopers. Cowboy State Daily's Renee Jean said the attraction, which was closed in 2005, boasts views so stunning and incredible, motorists report doing a U-turn on Highway 2026 between Shoshone and Casper to stop and see it. Before it was closed, it was bringing like $4 million in tourism to that area near Casper. So, you know, the monetary impact is pretty significant if they can get that back and make it a safe area for people to use. Officials at Casper's tourism agency, Visit Casper, are part of a coalition that's looking into reopening Hell's Half Acre. A Wyoming off-highway vehicle enthusiast says he's worried the Bureau of Land Management's controversial and restrictive Rock Springs management plan is part of a broader effort to remake public land use across the West. Ken Drays, an off-highway vehicle enthusiast, told Cowboy State Daily's Mark Hines that more restrictive measures seem to be taking hold on federal lands all over the West in places like Moab, Utah, where the BLM is planning to shut down a large number of off-road trails. There's a huge complex of BLM land down there by Moab. It's extremely popular for people all over the country, including a lot of people from Wyoming go down there to recreate. It's just kind of this ongoing controversy over how the BLM lands are being managed in all the different points of view. Cowboy State Daily's request for comments from the BLM's Moab field office were not answered. Balconies were falling off the Central Plaza Hotel and concrete corners crumbling away when Corey Lynn and Carter Ward bought it. But today is a new day and Cheyenne's 88-room hotel has been christened with an old name, the name that it had when it was first built in 1961, the Downtowner. All rooms have passed their official inspections after being gutted and remade into new and better spaces, including kitchenettes with brightly colored toasters and microwaves and even micro dishwashers. Two of the Downtowner's finished units were on display for a grand opening Friday night, and the words wow and so beautiful were heard often as members of the general public had an opportunity to experience the changes. Even though it was a little behind their preferred schedule, the downtowner has been finished just in time to provide housing for incoming workers who might be involved with the missile retrofit at F.E. Warren Air Force Base. I'll be back with more news right after this. At Hilltop Bank, we understand that buying a home is a big decision. That's why we're here to be your trusted partner on the path to home ownership. Our experienced mortgage team will guide you every step of the way, from pre-approval to closing. We offer competitive rates and a wide variety of home loan options to best suit your needs. With our local knowledge and personalized service, you'll feel confident and comfortable throughout the entire home buying process. Contact us today to start your journey toward home ownership. Hilltop Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. When the worst of winter hits Wyoming, many anticipate the arrival of spring. But many others will check a Wyoming Department of Transportation webcam to see if a stop sign is buried in snow. October 31st is the last day to enter the Wind River Outdoor Company's 6th Annual Stop Sign Snow Challenge. Cowboy State Daily's Andrew Rossi reports that the premise is simple. Submit a guess for which day the sign at Wind River Lake in the Togedy Pass will be completely buried in natural snowfall this winter. You submit the day that you think the stop sign will be completely covered with snow. And if it is completely covered, covered with snow on that day, you get a bunch of prizes. People enjoy the contest so much and checking every day to see how much snow is piling up on this thing. Ron Hansen, owner of the Wind River Outdoor Company, says more than 500 people participated in the Stop Sign Snow Challenge last winter. And Teton County is the wealthiest county in the nation. Is it possible to even visit the place without breaking the bank? Cowboy State Daily's Jake Nichols says it's doable, but timing is everything. Visiting the Tetons in October and November can be magical and money managed far better when the crowds are gone. For instance, hotel rooms that were $900 a night in July are $130 now. Read Jake's full story on CowboyStateDaily.com where he gives the lowdown on everything Jackson Hole, from camping to restaurants to sightseeing. And while you're there, read up on all the news that our talented writers have gathered about the state that we love. You can get a free digital subscription to Wyoming's only statewide newspaper by hitting the subscribe button on CowboysStateDaily.com. I'm Wendy Corr for Cowboy State Daily.